Good morning, I'm out at the Herefordshire. As I say, this is going to be my home base. Now I got some interesting comments on some of my videos, specifically the putting video, and the question was, do I put a line on my golf ball when I'm putting? And if I don't, why don't I? Well, I started playing this game long before drawing a line on a ball was a thing. You know, it just wasn't done when I started playing golf. Now, what I used to do on the tee is I'd sit the ball up so the logo was on top. And one thing that my dad told me was that you should sit the ball on the tee with the logo, so like on the back right corner. So then you try and hit the logo from the inside. But for putting, I very quickly realized that the best thing for me is to look down on a completely plain golf ball. Doesn't matter what color it is, white, yellow, red, whatever. I found that was best for me. And I certainly find when I've played foursomes with a guy who puts a line on his ball, I find that distracting. So I always kind of like put it out of the way where I can't see it. Putting is a very, very personal thing, I think. And it quite often reflects your character. Now, the second part of the question was, why don't you put a line on your ball for when you're practicing your putting? Then you can see the ball go end over end over end. And I get that. I get how useful that would be to be able to see this line going end over end over end. But again, I like to look down on that, on a plain ball, so I'd never do it. The only thing I would say is that when you're practicing your putting or any aspect of your short game, is to do it with your gamer balls, whatever that ball might be, use it for your short game. But to show you how individual putting is, let me show you my putting stroke. Everything about it is wrong. I don't do one single thing correct, including my putter. I'll show you what I mean. So I've just said I do everything wrong, including the putter. If I was to go into any pro shop in the land and say, fit me for a putter, there's no way they're going to fit me into a 35 inch putter because they will want you to have this triangle and to rock your shoulders and not use your hands. Well, I started putting when I was a kid with a full length putter and I don't recall holding it down the shaft. I probably held it full length. So this, even though it's too long for me, feels right for me. So that's the first thing I do wrong. It's the tool I'm using. The second thing I do wrong is my ball position. If you were going to for a putting lesson, you'd probably be taught to move this ball left of center towards the target to hit the putt on the up. I don't, it sits right in the middle of my stance. So that's also wrong. But let's see if you can spot what else is wrong. Besides my elbow out, putter too long and the ball position, you watch what my hands do in the stroke. Now, the putting stroke ought to be the same length either side of the ball. Or, another alternative is the backstroke shorter than the follow through. You watch what I do. You watch what my hands are doing in this stroke. You watch the length of the stroke. It's longer back and shorter through. You look how I set my hands and then wrap it.
Don't need that fourth one. I'm sure you've got it by now. So what I say is putting is very much an individual thing. I don't like a line on my ball. I don't like to look down on the logo. I like to look at a plain ball, whether I'm out on the course or whether I'm practicing. The great thing is, if you watch the pros on tour, you watch the guys, they got a, some of them have got the putter up the forearm. Some are doing this very strange, different arrangement of claw grip. It doesn't matter, it's an individual thing. It's what gets the ball in the hole that matters. And if putting a line on your ball helps you get it lined up and get it in the hole, that's the right thing for you. I don't like it. I prefer a plain ball. That's the right thing for me. Your putting is a game within a game. It's often said on the TV. And I totally believe that. So no matter that this club is too long for me, no matter that I stick my elbows out a bit Jack, Jack Nicholas. although if you remember, Jack used to crouch right over the ball like this, didn't he? He was very, very, very crouched over, over his putt. It doesn't matter what you do. Take how you stand. You can stand square. You can stand open to the putt so that you can see the line and push it. You can stand close. You can draw this right foot back. You can put the ball opposite your left toe that far forward you can lean into it like a chip and you can putt like that. It doesn't matter. What matters is does it go in the hole? And do you practice your three and four footers enough? You know, this is where you make your score. This circle here is where we score. No matter what's happened to get us to here, if you can't two putt it, then you've, you've, you've had it. You could be here in two on a par five with 30 feet. If it takes you three jabs to get it down, you've wasted. You've wasted your good drive. You've wasted your good three wood. As I say, putting's individual. So thank you very much for the question and the comment. I do love questions like this because there isn't a wrong answer. There's only right answers to each of us as an individual. Cheerio.